it, I love it, I love it. I did that. I can't even tell you I didn't do that. Like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I hate starting on my putting my channel. My name is Annalise, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my soft locks. This is my first time doing them, but I do them on other people, so I'm sure I can do it on myself. I already did my braids because it's just simple braids, and I did the back without a mirror. So if my parts look a little wonky or not even, that's why I'm... So this is my, the foundation that I'm starting with. Looking at those parts, they're a little bigger than I wanted them to be, but I did a good job making them work layer. I also start with a braid and finish with a twist. That makes it easier for you to take down your hair. You don't even need to braid it all the way down. I would say braid like a couple, like a little more than I even braided. Just because they're in the insert in the lock right there. And then that will give you a little bit of enough foundation to insert the lock and have the lock on your face. But I'm gonna do the back of my head first, and I'm gonna come back when I'm on the front. Um, I almost forgot for this video, I'll be using hair that was sent to me. It's from ZRQ Hair. I think I've actually ordered from them before when I did some else hair. So it was nice that I didn't have to pay for this. And I got 24 inch soft locks in color 1B. And here's the hair out the pack. And the loops look pretty like big, so it's easy for you to get the hair through. So y'all here's the hair. I'll be wrapping it with the spring twist hair. It's from the Ultra Expression brand. And I also got that in the 1B. Probably need a pack, a pack and a half, depending on how bulky you want them, but I don't want them bulky at all. I split like one of these hairs into three when I wrap my locks. And then lastly, probably the crochet hook. And when you do this part, you just need like the comb. So it's three your parts, and if you want, you can put gel and you can make them clean. But all of those are pretty easy hairstyles. But I'll catch you guys on the flip. I'm going to start with the hair like this. And you're not going to start at the top of the lock because you want to avoid bulkiness, so you're going to put it a couple braids down, insert the crochet hook, and you put the lock on there, close the hook, squeeze it through, pull it through. And I honestly don't think it matters if you only put the braid through, if you only put the lock through, but I just do both and then pull that through. And don't ask them how to take this out, I don't know. Then I divided the hair in three because it comes like this and like you just pull it apart. So I divide this piece in three and then I hold it in half or the length of your hair. So where my hair stops and you want to wrap the base pretty secure. So I wrap like about three times before I start moving down. And when I'm down, there's gonna be a little bump where the hair connects to the your actual braid. And you just wanna make sure that you wrap over that. By keeping your finger there, and you wrap over that part. And then after that, you just move down the lock. Also, I um, don't have anything to seal my ends right now. And honestly, you don't really need it if you wrap it tight enough, I believe. But if it does start to unravel, you could burn the end. Or you could put a nail glue and just wrap on top of it. But I'm just avoiding any of that because I don't know how to take this down. Go so, like this to the end. And there you go. This one I'm going to wrap it up. 
All right, I'm gonna do the other one I probably want to talk to. I think this is a pretty simple style to do on your yourself. Like, this is my first time. Okay, to run through it again, you're gonna insert the crochet needle a little further down the braid, like that. And once you insert the crochet needle, you just pull the your real hair through the loop. And once you pull your real hair through the loop, you just tighten it up as much as you can, like that. And after you pull your real hair through the loop, you're gonna grab the piece of hair that you split in three And you're going to start wrapping from the top and make it really tight at the top. So I usually do three around and then you're just going to bring it down. And you could either do it tight, close together. I do the top three tight, close together. And then as I move down, I put more space between the braids. So you have the option of going all the way down and adding more hair to make your lock longer. Or you could stop depending on what type of look you're going for and your preference. guys I am basically done I'm gonna show you guys like the pre this is me I just finished wrapping <laughs> I think the side part is good more oh what the 
free. Two dollars who? We can do like three fifty. Oh, I did a great job. That part could have been a little smaller, but whatever. Period. Okay, so I'm about to put mousse in it. And then I'll go through like how much hair I used and how long it took me, but BRB. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Going through with this mousse. Any mousse really works. Just to clean it up. Oh, that's nice. All right, and then after the mousse, I'm gonna go through with some oil. Okay, that's the oil. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Honestly, I would say the style took me a total of eight hours. Like I braided my hair, I think it took me three to four, and then wrapping it took me three to four. And that's how long it takes me to do other people's hair, kind of, depending on their hair type. But my hair also wasn't blow dry when I started, so that takes longer. And I use so the pack, I'm gonna put the link below. But the hair that I came with, the hair that I use came with six packs, and I used two and a half. So you could buy one of these hairs, one of these packs of hairs. How do you call it? One of these packages, and do your hair twice with the hair. Do your hair twice, and then I used one pack of the expression twisted up. Basically, I used one pack of that. So this is the finished look. I did that. I can't even tell you I didn't do that. Like, I love it. I love it. Um, let me put the camera down and show you guys how long it is. So again, this is the 24 inch one. It hits like my butt. And if I wrap hair on it, it would be like continue to wrap it all the way down the lock. It would be longer, but I don't feel like doing that right now. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys learned something from me. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.